Hello and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and my channel is all about connecting with crystals, learning about their metaphysical benefits, and really just becoming aware of this unique energy that's available to all of us. So thank you for joining me. Today's video, I'm going to be diving into what shadow work is and what crystals to work with when we are going through shadow work. While on our crystal and spiritual journey, shadow work is a constant. So when we recognize that we are in our shadow, it can really greatly assist us with understanding ourselves on a deeper level while we are on the spiritual path. I'm super excited to dive into today's video. If you are a returning subscriber, let me know by liking this video right now, or if you're just super excited to learn about shadow work and shadow work crystals, give me a big like right now. I really do appreciate it. So for the flow of this video, I'll be diving into what shadow work is, followed by some crystals to work with during shadow work. And then I'll be touching upon my own personal experiences, going through shadow work, giving you some advice and tips because I know definitely if you are feeling your shadow right now, I want you to know that you're not alone. And I hope that by hearing, you know, experiences from me, um, you really do feel less alone. So what is shadow work? What is this term? I remember the first time I heard the word shadow work or the phrase shadow work. I honestly thought it was something scary and negative. I thought it was kind of like this kind of like black magic type thing. I was like, what is this? And I want to let you know that it is nothing like that. <laughs> shadow work is a self-reflection term used to describe the subconscious parts of ourselves that we really just don't like. We can feel like this part of ourselves has been rejected or deemed no good. Outside influences can contribute to our subconscious programming of rejection or not liking something about ourselves. It can be a place where we hold a lot of pain, trauma, anger, sadness, and a lot of things that we don't want to bring to light, aka it stays in our shadow. I want to let you know that we all have a shadow. It is a part of ourselves that we have to continuously heal and work on because we can't be exposed to so much light without casting a shadow. When we repress our shadow, it can really become a big buildup of anger, sadness, depression, anxiety, and other low vibrations. So I personally believe that shadow work can really show up in two ways. We can initiate the shadow work. You know, we consciously are like, okay, let's go in and try to figure this out. Or shadow work just confronts us. You know, we're not even looking to do shadow work. It just pops up and we notice this shift in our energy. Like, wow, I'm feeling really down. I'm feeling really negative. Um, so when we go about working with our shadow, it definitely can come up with us initiating the shadow work or the shadow work just coming to surface. Now, no matter how the shadow work gets initiated, one thing that has always been my go-to and what has helped me so much when I go about doing shadow work is working with crystals. These past two to three weeks, I have probably gone through the most shadow work I've ever done just the timing of me putting out this video. Um, I was planning on filming this video for a while and as things were building up, I started to work with these crystals more because I knew I was in my shadow and I started working with these crystals more. I found new ones to work with and the timing of this video coming out and me talking about this, it syncs up perfectly because I'm very fresh with working with these crystals and having newer experiences to share with you. So I am super excited now to transition over to the crystal section of this video where I'll be diving into some wonderful crystals to work with while you go about doing shadow work. So the first crystal on this list for shadow work is obsidian. Now I wanna let you know that obsidian in general, it comes in a lot of different varieties. There's mahogany obsidian, snowflake obsidian, uh, rainbow obsidian, gold sheen, silver sheen, and black obsidian. So in general, I just want to let you know right away, if you have any form of obsidian, that's wonderful to work with 
during your shadow work journey. So right now I'm gonna be highlighting probably I think the best one to work with, and that is Black Obsidian. Black Obsidian helps uncover unconscious thoughts or patterns that inhibits one's spiritual and personal growth. Black Obsidian gently yet firmly points out where one holds these patterns and assists in clearing them from the auric field and cellular memory. It greatly assists one in recognizing where one is holding on to negativity and helps to illuminate and cleanse negative emotional patterns from the aura. Personally, I have noticed while working with Black Obsidian, it is one of the fastest crystals when I am in my shadow and I really need relief. You know, I'm really not feeling good. I'm in a low vibration um, and I need something. I need something to work with to kind of bring up my spirits a bit. And working with Black Obsidian, like I'll tell you, I'll hold Black Obsidian. I feel like gripping it in your hand, you know, whatever you're doing in the day, you just have it with you. Within hours, I have noticed like a weight being lifted off of me. There is something about Black Obsidian when you are in your shadow. It is one of the most comforting crystals to work with. I recently purchased this palm stone of Black Obsidian, but from all my past experiences, I've mainly worked with this point. And really, I will hold Black Obsidian when I'm feeling my shadow um, kind of like creep in, um, kind of like unexpectedly. And then when I'm consciously going into shadow work, like I'm initiating it, what I like to do is have Black Obsidian with me when I am journaling, you know, when I'm doing those self-reflection exercises to kind of figure out why my shadow um, is kind of there, trying to figure out my why with shadow work. Black Obsidian is great to journal with. Overall, Black Obsidian is honestly probably my number one recommendation on this list. Um, if you want to go about doing shadow work, whether it's self, you know, self-initiated or you're noticing your shadow creeping in, getting some black obsidian can really, really assist you in that journey. So this next crystal on this list is another form of obsidian. I've been working with this one a lot the last two, three weeks, and I'm excited to share it with you. And that is gold sheen obsidian. Gold sheen obsidian assists with clearing issues of the will. It is an excellent stone for perpetrators and victims of abuse who wish to clear all aspects of power abuse from their energetic systems. It is a powerful stone for exposing ego motivations and assists one in realigning one's power and action with divine will. I recently shared this gold sheen obsidian piece in my last crystal haul video. It's from Spellbound Sky and actually my boyfriend purchased this crystal. It's for him. And as I notice my shadow really coming in hot the last two to three weeks, I knew I had this new crystal, this black or this gold sheen obsidian. And I was like, you know, this is a great time to start working with it. This is like what it's meant for. So I have recently been working with gold sheen obsidian and I got to say it has helped me so much because it has this really activating um, energy in our solar plexus. It's almost like it gives us this feeling of a light at the end of the tunnel. I have been loving working with Gold Sheen Obsidian. It really has provided me with a lot of hope during this time. Um, and also it's a great reminder that we are learning when we are going through shadow work. You know, we are discovering things about ourselves that we don't really want to bring to light, but it's a part of us and we need to come face to face with it um, and we need to have that will to want to do the work and if you feel a little resistant to do shadow work i do really recommend getting gold sheen obsidian because it has that kind of like action oriented um, energy to it you know it does really uplift our solar plexus chakra which is really great when we are really in the depths of our shadow <laughs> you know it kind of feels like all of our chakras go dormant um, when we are in the heat of shadow, you know, we're just feeling these kind of like lower vibrations. We're not feeling too great. Um, so having gold sheen obsidian, it really brings up our energy. It uplifts our energy to really keep going forward, um, with that work. I definitely recommend this crystal. If you are looking for some sort of stimulation while you were going through your shadow work, it's honestly really here to help you and to, bring your energy back up a bit. So definitely try this one out. Moving on to the next crystal on this list, one of my personal favorites, and that is Smoky Quartz. 
In healing work, smoky quartz draws densities out of the aura and grounds their energy for reprocessing by the earth. In a sense, smoky quartz is an energetic composting device. It enables the negative energies to be clarified so they may become usable and healthy once again. Sometimes we forget how staying in a negative state of mind just attracts more negativity to our energy field. And smoky quartz is the best crystal to work with when we are feeling this negativity looming and we just need to find relief to send that negative energy away from us. And what's really cool about smoky quartz is that it really grounds us and sends that energy back to the earth so the earth can reprocess it. I think that's so cool about this stone. When we are having a bad day, which it's okay to have a bad day, we're gonna have them. Smoky Quartz is one of my favorite go-tos to grab and just let the amplification of the negativity beam away from me. It has a very protective energy towards it. Um, during shadow work, what you can do with Smoky Quartz is hold it in your hand, have the point be, if you have a point, <laughs> Have it be pointed down and sit with it and really take that moment to release all of those negative attachments that you're feeling. Maybe a situation's going on and you just want to let it go. You want to find peace in there. Send all of those vibrations down, down to the earth. <laughs> This is a practice that I think brings a lot of peace and can really help you when you're feeling overwhelmed um, in your shadow. And the last crystal on this shadow work list is Black Kyanite. Black Kyanite can clear a person's energetic field and create a protective shield that will provide a safe space in which to do psychic or healing work. Kyanite's frequency mandates one to act upon intuitive guidance building strong bridges between our inner and outer selves. It can help one cut through cloudy thoughts or hesitance so that forward movement can be made in one's life. Okay, I gotta say, I really love working with black kyanite because it really does clear blockages, especially in our root chakra. And when we are feeling those low vibrations from shadow work, sometimes it can be really intense and we need something that gonna help us like fast. And black kyanite is known for helping clearing blockages in our chakras, especially our root chakra. And I gotta say, this is definitely, if you really need something to help you, maybe you're like, <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Like I need to find something to help me. Like the shadow is just too much. Cause it can be really overbearing sometimes. Sometimes we're just really in it. Um, I've been finding so much relief with just holding black kyanite, you know, having it over my root chakra or holding it, man, has it helped me. Everyone's shadow work really varies. You know, we can go through little spurts of shadow work, you know, kind of not feeling too great, our mood's a little low, um, or it can be very intense and it can be like debilitating, you know, you can't get out of bed. Um, and in those circumstances, you know, when it's, consecutive days of not wanting to get out of bed, like at a certain point, you're gonna need to find something to help you. And, you know, working with black kyanite along other practices has really greatly helped me when I just do not <laughs> feel like myself. I feel like my shadow is overtaking me. Um, this is honestly a great crystal to work with when you really need something to clear a blockage and I really do recommend this one, like it's amazing. Wrapping up this video, I love to really share my own personal experiences while I have gone through shadow work. And you know, chances are if you're curious about what shadow work is or you are currently going through shadow work and you search this video to kind of find relief, um, I do wanna let you know that shadow work is really hard. When I am in my shadow, most of the time, I do not feel good. I don't feel like myself. I feel really sad and depressed and I have a lot of anxiety. And one of the hardest parts about going through shadow work is really just being in the moment and being in your shadow. And sometimes you can't control 
how long it's going to stay. You know, you can try to do practice practices and find things that can bring up your energy. But really, it is a time for you to find the root of the problem or the root of why you're feeling this way. And that takes time. It takes patience. Some practices that I really advise for you to do when you are in your shadow and you kind of just want to figure out what's going on inside, you know, really one of the best things you can do is to journal um, or <laughs> like type in your computer, you know, write it down, just start writing, let this flow come out of you. Ask yourself a question, you know, start your journal entries, start your note, um, and say, I feel really bad because of blah, blah, blah. I think I'm feeling bad because of blah, 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 because I feel blah, blah, blah. I think I've been feeling blah, 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 because when I was younger, when this would happen, blah, 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 you kind of just go into layers of figuring out the why. Um, you do kind of want to layer it out. Um, from every why, you figure out that why, from that why to that why. And then when you're done and you're kind of like looking over everything, it really does help put in perspective the main problem, the main issue, and, and the reason why um, that it's popping up for you. That in essence is really what shadow work is. Like I mentioned in you know the crystal section of the video, you know, having crystals to accompany you when you're journaling can greatly assist you um, when you're doing those self-reflection practices. So definitely incorporate those if you want. Um, but really journaling is wonderful and something that has helped me a lot um, whenever I am going into shadow work. I would say more often, um, it is when I'm initiating the shadow work, when I'm trying to figure something out, I will get a pen and paper and start writing. Um, it's just like a, a habit that I have when I feel the shadow, when I want to go into it, I'll just write. Another practice I wanted to talk about really quickly, if you feel like your shadow is kind of confronting you without you initiating it, it's just kind of like popping up a lot and it can feel really intense or you're just not feeling like yourself, one of the best things you can do is to talk to someone. If there is someone in your life that you feel comfortable talking about, you know, your issues or just bringing up, you know, I'm not really feeling too good and you know they'll listen, um, having someone like that in your life or even looking for a therapist, finding a therapist online or an in-person therapist. You know, I've gone through therapy and have had very transformational experiences through just talking to someone. Um, that is another great way to work with your shadow. If you can talk with someone, talk to a professional, it really does set you up for uncovering things about yourself, understanding yourself in a deeper way that can help you move forward um, in your journey. When you are in your shadow and you are aware of the fact that you are in your shadow, I want you to know that there is power there and that you will survive and overcome the feelings that you are feeling. I'll leave you with this quote that I really love about shadow work and it is, shadow work is one of the most authentic paths towards enlightenment. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to comment some crystals that have helped you when you are going through shadow work, I would love it if you shared in the comments for someone in this growing community to see, to help them heal, to help them feel, not, feel less alone. I would greatly appreciate it. And I know they would too. If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribe to come on and check out some of my other videos. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.